Welcome to the Red Bull Ring, home of the Austrian Grand Prix and one of the most exhilarating tracks on the F1 calendar. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a rookie just starting out, mastering this circuit is no easy feat. But fear not, fellow F1 enthusiasts. In this video, we will be unleashing the power of our F122 knowledge to help you dominate the Red Bull Ring like a boss. We are talking killer speed on the straights, hair-raising overtakes, and breathtaking turns that will leave your opponents eating your dust. So, fasten your seatbelt and get ready to unleash your inner F1 champ. The Red Bull Ring circuit has several long straights, which provide great opportunities to reach high speeds. However, these straights are also followed by tight hairpin turns and high-speed corners that require excellent stability and grip. One way to achieve this balance is by adjusting the wing angle. The wing angle determines the amount of downforce generated by the front and rear wings of the car. A higher angle generates more downforce, which provides more grip and stability, but also increases drag and reduces top speed. On the other hand, a lower angle generates less downforce, which reduces drag and increases top speed but can also reduce grip and stability. For the Red Bull Ring, we recommend a lower wing angle than what you might use on a more technical circuit. A good starting point would be to set the front wing angle to 18 and the rear wing angle to 13. These settings will give you enough downforce to provide stability in the corners while also allowing you to achieve higher top speeds on the straights. However, it's important to remember that the ideal wing angle can vary depending on your driving style, car setup, and the conditions of the track. Therefore, we recommend experimenting with different wing angle settings during practice sessions to find the optimal balance for your car. Keep in mind that the right wing angle setting can make a significant difference in your lap times and overall performance on the track. In addition to aerodynamic setup, another key factor in optimizing your car's performance on the Red Bull Ring is the transmission settings. Specifically, the on-throttle and off-throttle differentials can greatly impact your car's handling and acceleration out of corners. The on-throttle differential controls the amount of power that is sent to the rear wheels when you apply throttle. A higher on-throttle differential setting will send more power to the rear wheels, which can improve acceleration but also increase the risk of oversteer. Conversely, a lower on-throttle differential setting will send less power to the rear wheels, which can reduce the risk of oversteer but also result in slower acceleration. For the Red Bull Ring, we recommend starting with an on-throttle differential setting of around 65%. This setting will provide a good balance between acceleration and control, allowing you to get on the power quickly out of corners while still maintaining stability. The off-throttle differential controls the amount of power that is sent to the rear wheels when you lift off the throttle. For the Red Bull Ring, we recommend starting with an off-throttle differential setting of around 55%. This setting will help the car rotate into corners while still maintaining stability and control. Keep in mind that the optimal on-throttle and off-throttle differential settings can vary depending on your driving style and the specific characteristics of your car. The suspension geometry is like the backbone of your car, providing the foundation for your handling and grip through corners. If you're looking to optimize your F122 setup for the Red Bull Ring, it's important to pay close attention to the camber and toe settings, which can have a significant impact on your performance. For the Red Bull Ring, we recommend starting with a camber angle of around minus 2.5 degrees on the front wheels and minus 1.0 degrees on the rear wheels. These settings will provide good grip and stability through corners without compromising straight line speed. For the Red Bull Ring, we recommend starting with a toe-in angle of around 0.05 degrees on the front wheels and a toe-out angle of around 0.20 degrees on the rear wheels. These settings will provide good stability through corners while also maintaining good straight line speed. These settings don't really change track to track, so don't spend too much time making adjustments here. Proper suspension settings can help to maximize tire life, as excessive tire wear can be caused by improper suspension setup. A stiffer front suspension can provide better turn-in and cornering performance, but can also reduce tire life and increase the risk of understeer. A softer front suspension can provide better grip and stability, but may sacrifice some responsiveness. At the rear these components can be adjusted in a similar way to the front suspension, with stiffer settings providing better traction and acceleration, but potentially reducing tire life and increasing oversteer. Here we have gone with 7 on the front, and a very soft rear, at just 1. The anti-roll bars, which connect the left and right wheels of the car, can also be adjusted to control the balance of the car through corners. A stiffer front anti-roll bar will reduce body roll and improve turn-in, while a stiffer rear anti-roll bar will improve stability and reduce oversteer. Again, stiffer at the front, and soft at the rear is best in Austria. 7 and 1. Finally, the ride height refers to the distance between the ground and the underside of the car. Adjusting the ride height can affect the car's aerodynamics, with lower ride heights providing more downforce but potentially sacrificing straight line speed. 
For Austria, we have gone relatively high, with 8 at the front and 5 on the rear. Brakes another important area to focus on when setting up your car for the Austrian Grand Prix. Brake bias and brake pressure are two key settings that can have a significant impact on your car's handling and braking performance. Brake bias refers to the balance of braking force between the front and rear wheels. A more rear biased brake bias will provide more stopping power at the rear of the car, which can help to reduce oversteer and improve stability under braking. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that brake settings can have a significant impact on tire wear. Hard braking can put a lot of stress on the tires, so it's important to find a brake setup that provides good stopping power without causing excessive wear on the tires. Tire pressure is another key setting to consider when setting up your F1 car for the Austrian Grand Prix. The optimal tire pressure can vary depending on a number of factors, including track temperature, track surface, and driving style. For the Red Bull Ring, we recommend a tire pressure of 23.0 PSI for the front tires and 22.8 PSI for the rear tires. These values provide a good balance between grip and durability, while also ensuring that the tires don't overheat or wear out too quickly. It's worth noting that tire pressure can have a significant impact on the handling and performance of the car. Higher tire pressures will generally provide better responsiveness and stability, but can also lead to increased wear and reduced grip. Lower tire pressures will provide better grip, but can also make the car feel less responsive and increase the risk of punctures. It's important to find the right tire pressure for your driving style and car setup and to make adjustments as needed throughout the race weekend. Keep an eye on tire wear and temperature during practice sessions and adjust the pressures as needed to ensure that you have good grip and durability throughout the race. So there you have it, our guide to setting up your F1 car for the Austrian Grand Prix. We've covered aero, suspension, transmission, brakes, and tires, giving you all the information you need to fine-tune your car for this challenging track. Remember, setting up an F1 car is a highly personal process that requires experimentation and practice. Don't be afraid to make adjustments throughout the weekend, and pay attention to the feedback from your car and your tires. If you're looking for more detailed setup information, be sure to check out f1setups.com. They offer comprehensive guides and setup recommendations for every track on the F1 calendar, along with advice on driving techniques, car tuning, and more. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the track. And as always, keep it clean into turn 1.